Hello and welcome back to the Pokemon Radical Red playthrough. This is part 21 in this episode we head outside of Sabrina's gym where we just got ourselves a beautiful, beautiful Mega Stone. And you know what? I felt like we wanted to use a Mega. Uh, we didn't have a whole bunch of options. We had a lot of situations where we had the Mega Stone for a Pokemon but we can't get the Pokemon yet. We had a couple of reverse of that where we have a Pokemon that can Mega Evolve but we don't have the Mega Stone. But you know what? There was one Pokemon that we could go ahead and grab that had its Mega Stone, and that was Sableye. Which, to be honest, is a Pokemon that I really don't use that much. I can't remember the last time I used a Mega Sableye. Um, I don't, I don't dislike it. I think it's completely fine. I think it has its uses. I don't know how well it's gonna do in this gym, to be perfectly honest. Its typing sounds amazing. It does. Dark Ghost type. That sounds like a great type to bring into a psychic type gym. Uh, it has this bold nature, has the Sable Knight, caught it in a Dream Ball so that it could get prank stuff for a hidden ability. Uh, its IVs are kind of garbage, but I don't think it should matter too much because, to be honest, it's here to stats things, uh, as it has Shadow Ball, Foul Play, Torn, and Will O Wisp. My thought process is this this gym is gonna have a Mega. That Mega could <laughs> be Mega Gallade. <laughs> and I'm gonna rely on that a little bit and hope that I can burn it and foul play it and stuff like that And we'll see how this Sable Eye does, but we really didn't have too many options like we had a Kangaskhan Eye But we can't get Kangaskhan. If I could have brought a Kangaskhan, I would have for the fake out and just stupidness that it brings But we'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. We're bringing a little bit of CC in here um, But for, for the rest of the team, we're gonna bring Luxray obviously because it's typing and the rest of the team's just kind of decent Pokemon I don't really have too much of a strategy we're probably going to go ahead and give this two attempts, I would say. First attempt, learning the fight. Second attempt, actually, you know, developing a strategy and winning. Uh, so we will see. We will see. I have taken a week off, uh, as some of you may have noticed. Uh, the signs of what was happening were were definitely pretty obvious. Uh, <laughs> there was... There was a good bit of my throat dying in a couple of the episodes, like, leading up to the break, and yeah, my throat definitely died. It was very painful to speak, drinking was especially painful. Um, so I did take a week off, now my throat feels a little bit better, I can go ahead and speak again, and it's, it's honestly kind of nice being able to speak again. So, back to normal from now. I had a vision of your arrival. I've had psychic powers since I was a child. It started with a spoon I carelessly tossed. Then. I just like battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Don't, don't show me any powers. I don't want to see any of your psychic mumbo jumbo. I want the badge. I prefer fighting in the double style. Oh. Are you ready? No. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. I don't... I don't know what to lead with actually, at all. Um, <laughs> if this was single battles, my plan was going to be to suck punch whatever came out first, or just to see if Luxray could one-shot the first Pokemon. That was kind of my plan. Honestly, that plan might stay. That plan might stay. There's going to be two Psychic types coming out, right? One of them has to be weak to dark, right? One of them has to be sucker punchable. Like, what if they, what if they leave, like, a Mega Alakazam? Right, and I just sucker punch it, and it drops. That would be amazing. And then I also kind of want to bring Sableye, because it could go ahead and, like, taunt things. In case they want to calm mind or nasty plot. I like this plan. I like this plan. You know what, we're going to keep the Pokemon that we have in front, actually. We're going to keep the Pokemon we have in front. We're probably going to lose, because double battles are scary, and I'm much better at single battles than I am at double battles. But you know what? We will give it a go. We will give it a go. Her hands are glowing and that's a scary thing. Hatterene and Indeedee. Okay, we have some Gen 8 right here. And uh, I haven't, I haven't played that much Gen 8. <laughs> uh, one of these is going to set up for sure. Does Indeedee set up? I don't know what these Pokemon do. Psychic Surge. Psychic Terrain, Psychic Terrain, Psychic Terrain. Electric Terrain is electric type moves, get a 50% bonus. Regardless of whether they're an electric type, I think? And it stops... Sleep? Oh god, I have to remind myself of terrains. Give me a second before I start this. Grassy terrain heals Pokemon that are on the ground and boosts grass type moves. Misty terrain is the one that stops dragon type moves being as powerful. And I'm pretty sure it has another effect. It stops status. So this one... Psychic Terrain, the one that I remember the least, unfortunately, is the one that stops priority? 
and boost the psychic type boost. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Lux Ray should outspeed both of these, so I can just safely crunch just in case they set up, and then the Sucker Punch. I can't use Sucker Punch. Um, I crunch in DD. Does that stop Prankster working? I think that stops Prankster working. I really screwed up with this Sableye, huh? This Sableye is completely useless from now. Um, so I guess we'll Mega Evolve it, and we'll Shadow Ball... Do I want to Shadow Ball the Hatterene that just got its big old boost, or do I want to go ahead and Foul Play the Ndd in case it doesn't die? I think Ndd would die. I'm just going with this. We'll go ahead, we'll Shadow Ball, and we'll Crunch, and we'll see what happens. This is our experimental attempt, right? We're going in, we're learning, we're having a nice time, and we're probably gonna get wrecked, okay? Because double battles, to be perfectly honest, are hard. Especially when you're against a team with actual setup. Like, they set up terrain, they had, like, seeds. That's scary. Um, also, I'm pretty sure the max level cap for this gym is 59. I got to 58 to just be a little bit safe in case my Pokemon gain a little bit of XP, as when you hit 59, XP doesn't stop completely. Oh. 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 Oh, that's... I'm gonna swap Luxray out right here, because I do want to keep it around when the terrain ends and I can suck punch things, and I... I... I can't... Will-O-Wisp being the Conkelda doesn't do anything. <laughs> it just gives it a guts boost. So I guess I'm just gonna Shadow Ball the Hat again. Right? Is that my plan? I think I just Shadow Ball the Hat again. This is not gonna be a good turn. Some Pokemon are gonna die right here. That Hat is about to go ahead and, and slap me. I do go first because the Trick Room does help my Sableye, which is actually kind of funny. But that Dazzling Gleam is gonna bop my Pokemon, huh? Hatterene is a strong Pokemon. It is. Drain Punch. We are going to take that reasonably well, though. Okay, okay, that did more than I wanted it to. However, both of those Pokemon are going to outspeed my Gliscor. I can't protect to waste a turn. And I can Shadow Ball the Hat again. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, this is going to be a tough one, huh? <laughs> Getting rid of that Hatterene before it sets up the Trick Room would be ideal. But I don't know how I would do that. I also don't think I have another Pokemon that's slower than the Hatterene to stop it from getting another attack off, sadly. Ice Punch. That's scary. Don't do that. Don't Ice Punch me, please. If you could not Ice Punch me, that would be great. I guess I'm going to go into Ninetales and try and Dazzling Gleam. And do, I, do I have the double protect here? The Hail would take it out. I might be trying to double protect with my Gliscor right now, actually. Which seems stupid. It seems like such a stupid thing to do, but it's faster than their Pokemon, so there's no reason not to. The Trick Room's up, right? I could try and swap it out to maybe take an Ice-type move with something, but Lapras not being a Water Ice-type right now is unfortunate. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go for a double protect, and I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. I guess. I feel like my Ninetales is about to get to be healing, but we'll give this a go. Protect fails, that's unfortunate. That means the Dazzling Gleam. Expand Force. What? 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 One second. So it's just a really dumb broken move that was introduced with the Sword and Shield DLC. Okay, okay, okay. 80 base power. Mm -hmm. Hits both opponents when Psychic Terrain is up. Gets a 50% boost when Psychic Terrain is up. Gets stabbed. Gets a 5% on top of that from the terrain. Oh yeah, that's a move that I... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, that's, that's a hard move to deal with. Um, 
that's gonna make this basically. Can I take out the Hatterene early? Hatterene is the problem that I see. Out of all of the Pokemon that I see, Hatterene is the problem. From here, I have no idea what I really do, so I'm just gonna bring out Lapras and Minxino. Minxino's gonna get bopped by a Drain Punch, right? That's gonna happen. Uh, unless the Trick Room ends this turn, which I don't think it does. Marowak, we can maybe hit with a Water-type move and get some good damage off onto. I mean, we can hit it with a Brine, that's about all we can do. That's all that's gonna happen this turn. Nothing else is gonna happen this turn. Um, ideally, I would put the Conkelda to sleep, but that's not gonna happen. Marowak goes first, Glare Blitzes, that's gonna hurt. That's probably Minxino dead, actually. Yeah, we're gonna need to bring, like, a strong Steel-type to deal with the Hatterene. And actually, there is a Pokémon that we can go ahead and grab from the game corner, which would be a Beldum. I might go and grab a Beldum. I feel like a Metagross would be so good. It all depends on if a Meteor Mash can take out the Hatterene. It got a special defense boost from its seed, not a physical defense boost, so that's one good thing. The Psyche. Okay, the Trick Room did just end. The train's still up, sadly. But the room did end. We're gonna intimidate the Conkelda. I can crunch the Marowak and Marowak will go down. I don't have a way of dealing with Conkelda. Conkelda is just gonna completely bolt my Pokemon. Maybe I can freeze it. That's pretty much what I'm relying on right here. But we'll crunch the Marowak and get rid of that. We'll try and freeze the Conkelda. If we do freeze it, maybe there's hope. Oh, we didn't even take out the Marowak. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That ain't gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. Drain Punch. I feel like having a Focus Sash on Luxray might be a good idea as well. We're learning. We're learning, alright? This first attempt was about learning, you know? I really didn't think that Crunch would take out the Marowak, though. I'm kind of surprised it didn't. I'll be honest, I am kind of surprised that it didn't take it out. Now, the question is... Do I just take out the Marowak and try and, like survive a hit from Conkelda, or do I try and freeze the Conkelda and still go for the victory because the hit will take out the Marowak? Let's just play it safe. Well, I shot the Marowak. Maybe we live a hit. I still have the second train up. I'm an idiot. That was me being stupid. Alright, we will come back to this, and we will give this another attempt with a much smarter team, I think. Because at the moment, my team has a lot of priority, funnily enough. We have, like, Ice Shard on stuff, we have Suck Punch, we have Prankster. None of those are gonna help me. None of those are gonna help me. So, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go and grab a Metagross and train one of those up. So this will take me, like, an hour, but for you it'll be a couple of seconds, and we will give this another attempt. Alright, Metagross acquired. We have ourselves this big old lad who is EV trained, who is trained up, level 58, max HP, max attack, holding itself a muscle band, with an adamant nature. I decided not to go for the shiny form, as that would be an extra just bunch of money, and to be honest, shiny Metagross? Not really the craziest thing in the world. It's not max IVs, because that would be expensive, and to be honest, I uh, didn't have the most time to go ahead and uh, grab that many nuggets, but while I was grabbing nuggets, the inevitable happened. Say hello to a uh, shiny Meowth 2, which I call PP because I'm very mature, okay? Look at me, look in my eyes, maturity, okay? Um, but yep, the second Meowth has been caught. Shiny as well. Um, <laughs> it was just gonna happen, wasn't it? It's probably not the end of it as well, because I will want to probably max the IVs on these Pokemon. But um, we have ourselves this Metagross. We're gonna go back to Sabrina. We're gonna give this another go. I am hoping that with the Muscle Band that I've put on this Metagross, a good old Meteor Mash will one-shot the Hatterene. It's a chance, I'm pretty sure. I damage calc it to see if this would be worth my time, and I'm pretty sure that this is a, a like... I don't even know. The roll is like 99% to like 120%. There's a very good chance that we KO. There's a very, very good chance we KO. But at the end of the day, we might not KO. And that would suck. That would suck. So, just to clarify, the only changes I've really made is Luxray has a Focus Sash, just in case we have to deal with anything with that Conkelda, we can live one hit, that'll be kind of handy. Uh, and to be honest, Metagross. That's our changes. The rest of the team, exactly the same. 
exactly the same. They were put in the box, they've been taken out of the box, now they're ready to fight again. Let's give this our second go and see if Metagross can absolutely carry me, <laughs> to be honest. I'm really hoping it can. If we can just stop the Trick Room from getting set up in the first place, it makes our lives so much easier. A Trick Room team that can't set up Trick Room just gets screwed over because they're slower than all the Pokemon and they just don't have a fun time. That's just how it goes. Ideally, they wouldn't be the Psychic Terrain. It was clever of them to put that up because it stops me from taunting the Hatterene, which would have been such a good strategy. It would have been so good if Psychic Terrain just, you know, if it just didn't. <laughs> If it just didn't. Or, actually, if my Sableye was just faster than them and didn't have pranks to just stop myself, I kind of screwed myself over. But, uh, we are going to Crunch in Duty, and we are going to Meteor Mash Hatterene. That is our plan. It's going to try and stop the setup before it begins. It's a very simple strategy. That still KOs. That's good. I was a little bit scared that that wouldn't KO without the Black Glasses. That still KO'd. That's good. That does Meteor Mash. KO. We land it. That's good. Please one shot. Okay. That makes our life so much easier. That is the cleanest first turn we could possibly have. That was beautiful. No trick room. And we take out both of their Pokemon. And Luxray levels up just to kick them in the teeth. Love that. Love that. That's great. That makes me happy. Our lives should be so much easier now. Porygon 2. Disgusting. Intimidate. Disgusting. Thankfully we have clear body on our Metagross. But I do want to go ahead and double into the Marowak. I don't know what the Porygon 2 can do, but the Marowak can bot my Pokemon. Like a Shadow Bone on my Metagross? Scary. A Bone Rang on my Luxray? Scary. So I'm gonna crunch and, to be honest, just Psychic it, because I feel like a Crunch takes it pretty low, and I feel like a Psychic can finish it, especially in Psychic Terrain. So yeah, we'll do that. That way there's no chance of it missing. Uh, crunch, hopefully, just does way more damage than I expected to. Okay, that did a lot less than I expected it to. For some reason I was thinking it would do, like, three quarters. But still, a Psychic from a Magros. I was wrong. That did so much damage and it hits twice, doesn't it? Yeah, that's gonna screw over my Focus Sash strategy. If I still had the Black Glasses, maybe Crunch would have done enough, funnily enough. And the Porygon sets the Trick Room back up. No, I didn't think that would happen. I don't know why I didn't think that would happen. Obviously that was gonna happen. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Well, we had a good start, right? That's important. That is important. I like having a good start. We're gonna brine the Marowak. And to be honest, I'm just gonna Meteor Mash the Porygon. I could Hammer Arm to lower my speed. I'm gonna Hammer Arm the Porygon and lower my speed. This is tactical right here. Please don't one-shot me. Please don't one-shot me. I'm a Metagross. I'm a tanky Metagross. A tanky Metagross. That hurts to watch. That really hurts to watch. If I had just clicked Zen Headbutt, all I had to do was click Zen Headbutt instead of Psychic because my physical attack is so much higher. Oh! If I bring in the Gliscor, it tempts him to Ice Punch me and I get a turn of Protecting, I guess? Or something? God of War. That's the last Pokemon we see, right? Is that the Mega? That's gotta be the Mega, huh? Copied Poison Heal. That's fine. That's fine with me. I don't mind that at all. Um, there is a Fairy-type move, like a Moonblast, heading straight for this Lapras, and that is gonna suck. And there is an Ice Punch headed straight for my Gliscor, which is also gonna suck. To be honest, both of these Pokemon are problems. Um, I might be screwed. If I could have Metagross around for this card of War, that would be really handy. I basically- this would have been fine if I just didn't get completely bopped by that Marowak, to be honest. The Marowak kind of screwed us over. I think we have to give this another attempt. 
I do think we have to give this another attempt. Lapras flinches, expand force, that dumb move. They're just gonna one-shot my Lapras, because I mean, the power of that move, that's so much damage. Our Lapras is so tanky. That's so much damage, that's actually such a stupid move. Why is that move so strong? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, we'll try an acrobatics to the Kinkelda for damage, but to be honest, I think that's that. I think attempt number two is gonna result in a failure as well, meaning we're giving this a third attempt. Acrobatics, okay. Respectable damage. Really respectable damage. We're gonna get hit by Expand Force or something, and we're gonna die, but respectable damage. Expand Force. Yep, that's, uh, that's kind of what I've seen it do. It, it one-shots my Pokemon. That's what I've got to accept. We'll Dazzling Gleam, and I guess we'll Mega Evolve, and Shadow Ball. I guess the Kinkel to try and take it out, but I can't deal with that Gardevoir. That's gonna be this attempt over. Yep. Yeah, that went about as I thought. Let's give this another attempt where we don't let Metagross get screwed over. Alright, you know the saying. Third time's the charm. All that has been changed is Focus Sash is no longer on Luxray. Instead, we changed back to Black Glasses. And to be honest, I really think all I have to do this time is just not let Marowak do what it did. <laughs> just don't let Marowak be a problem, and I think we're good. So to be honest, I'm really not changing much. I'm really not changing my strategy all too much. I would love it if the Porygon didn't come out. To be honest, that would be great. I would love it if there was just no Porygon. Because I don't want the Trick Room up. I really don't. The Trick Room causes my team a whole lot of issues. Like, a whole lot of issues. If there is no Trick Room, there is no worries. I would love to just taunt. You know? I guess I could technically just Mega Evolve my, um, my Sableye. And, and taunt, because then it wouldn't have the same ability. But we'll see how this goes. We'll see how all of this goes. This might go great, this might go badly, we'll have to see. Crunch, we saw one shot before, and it does one shot with the black glasses, makes sense, makes sense. And we saw the uh, Meteor Mash also one shot before, and I would love to see that one shot again as well. Like I said, there's like a stupidly high percent chance that, that the roll does KO, but this is a max HP. There is a slight chance we don't. We did get an attack boost as well. Now, we didn't get an attack boost before, and I like getting an attack boost. I do like that. I also like my Metagross leveling up. I like that as well. I might prioritize the Porygon if the Porygon does come out, funnily enough. I might prioritize that Porygon going down. I might just make sure that Porygon dies. I could just, like, Zing Zap it and Hammer on it. I could. But then I'd be dropping my Metagross' speed, and the Trick Room wouldn't go up, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, that'd be great in theory, but also it might just suck. This is the problem point. Which of these Pokemon do I take out? If I take out that Porygon, is the Gardevoir going to set up Trick Room? Do I care about the Gardevoir setting up Trick Room? Gardevoir's fast. That would actually maybe help me. Do I want to see if that if that Marowak clicks Flare Blitz though? That's my nightmare scenario. That's actually my nightmare scenario. If that Marowak Flare Blitz is my Metagross, I lose my condition for taking out the God of War and realistically the Conkelda. So I'm gonna actually just prioritize the Marowak. I'm just gonna double into the Marowak. I'm gonna Zen headbutt the Marowak. We're gonna crunch the Marowak. I want Marowak gone. I'm not that afraid of Conkelda, because I can just Zen headbutt it. Okay, we land the Zen headbutt. That's important. That's scary. I don't like 90% accuracy moves, I'll be honest. What is Porygon gonna do? Is it gonna set up the Trick Room? Because if it does, I can swap Luxray out, and I can bring it, it does set up the Trick Room. So I can swap Luxray out and go ahead and bring in Blyscore. So I'm kind of expecting that Conkelda to just Drain Punch the Luxray. Right, that's that's just what's gonna happen. I could also bring in Sableye. Ah. ah. And just be immune to damage. I like that plan. We'll bring in Sableye, and I will Zen Headbutt the Conkelda. I don't know what Porygon's gonna do after Trick Room. Okay, he's just going for flinches now. Hopefully there's no flinch. 
That headbutt goes off, it lands, that's good. This should do a ton of damage. This is Psychic Train boosted, remember? Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's actually so disgusting. I'm so glad I brought this Metagross. I'm so glad that you can have a Metagross. <laughs> it's just such a staple Pokemon. Why is it so good? Okay, and all of my team just decided to hit level 59. It's kind of cute that they all leveled up together. Teleport's going to bring in Gardevoir, but then I need to bring in Porygon again. <laughs> Isn't that... Oh no! <laughs> like, that's fine. Trace clear body, that's fine. Uh, do I want to do anything fancy here, or do I just want to Mega Evolve and try and, like, Shadow Ball the Gardevoir for extra damage, just in case Megros doesn't KO? I guess we'll do that. We'll Shadow Ball it. I could also taunt the Porygon in case it has any more weird moves, like, recover, but I mean, I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. I'm just gonna beat your mash. I feel like even if both of those Pokemon attack me with a neutral move, I'm fine. And I don't know if Gardevoir has any moves that are super effective against a Macros, actually. Probably just gonna go for like a Dazzling Gleam to take out the Sableye, and I'm completely fine with that. I'm feeling very confident right now, which is very worrying. I don't like feeling this confident. Shadow Ball goes first, because we're the slowest thing on the field, which is nice. Shadow Ball did a good amount, actually. That was more damage than I was expecting. Ice Beam onto Sableye. Okay. Meteor Mash, because I'm slower than the Gardevoir. Yeah, we're fine. We've won. We've won. What does this thing have other than Ice Beam? Tri Attack. It has Tri Attack. Why would you not have a Porygon 2 with Tri Attack, right? That's it. We're good. I can taunt you just for the fun of it because I want to taunt the Porygon 2, and I can hammer on it. I just want to taunt it. That's, that's all. That's all I want to do. I just want to taunt it. Yeah, go ahead. Ice beam me. I don't care. I don't care, Porygon. I don't care. I get to KO a Porygon to end off this gym battle. That makes me so happy inside. I love seeing a Porygon get bombed. That's my favorite thing. Drop my speed so I can bop it before I can attack as well. You know what? Taunt it again. Taunt him again. Taunt yeah, there you go. I, oh, it's, oh, that feels good. And we outspeed, and we slam it into the ground with a massive hammer arm. And to be honest, I think for sure, MVP of this fight, absolutely Metagross. Absolutely Metagross. Um, I haven't said question of the day, and I have realized that right at the end. So, sorry for this being so late. I was very focused on this battle. But, um, for question of the day... <laughs> I really am sorry, this is so late. What is your favorite boss fight from a video game? I don't know why I felt the need to add from a video game. I don't think you have a boss fight that happened outside of a video game, unless you, like, got into a fight at the workplace with someone that, you know, wouldn't give you that pay raise that you really wanted, and you start, like, smacking them with a spatula. Uh, if that was- if that's your favorite boss fight and you have a scenario like that that you can actually go ahead and comment, please write that down. I would love to read through that. That would really make my day. But, um, <laughs> question of the day, what's your favorite boss fight? Before you go, please, take this TM with you. Trick Room! That makes sense. That makes sense. I did say, I think at some point, uh, a couple of episodes ago, I did want to run a Trick Room team at one point. That has not changed. I still kind of want to do this to someone. And honestly, running the Psychic Gym, like, the strategy that they just had, perhaps you're looking for a God for it, maybe? If you show me a perfect Pokemon, I'll reward you handsomely. Do I have Lapras? You look perfect, right? Yeah. Hi. The Lapras. Ah, yes. This Pokemon is clearly flawless. Oh. Well, thank you. Here, take it. Ah. Okay, okay. I've carried this around for a while, but I have no idea if it actually does anything. You... You used it in your fight with me. You Mega Evolved your God of War. Ah! Oh! Oh, that! Oh, I thought she was talking about the God of War, right? Oh! The shiny charm said to increase the chance of finding a shiny Pokemon. Oh, the, the Meowths. There's gonna be so many. <laughs> There's gonna be so many Meowths. Okay. Okay. Overall, I would consider this episode a success. Um, it did take us more attempts than I was expecting. I thought this gym was gonna be the easier one of the gyms that we were gonna fight. Uh, because I thought I was gonna be able to suck punch things. And then they set up a terrain where I couldn't use priority. Um, but you know what? It did convince me to go and get a Metagross, and the Metagross did do very, very well. 
I do like Megros a lot. You know, if you've watched any of my other playthroughs, you will understand that Megros is a Pokemon that I do very, very, very much enjoy having on my team. So overall, I would call that all a success. I like my team right now, I really do. This is filled with Pokemon that I really like, and then a Sableye, which... <laughs> which is mean to the Sableye, but you know what, it's, it's the truth. So... Next episode, we will go ahead and we'll start making our way to Fuchsia City. Where, honestly, we might go ahead and try and incorporate the psychic strategy a little bit with the Trick Room. We might genuinely go and catch an Indeedee, and genuinely go and catch a Hatterene, and I might lead with what they led with in, in that fight and use that against Koga, because I feel like it'd be hilarious. But uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. At the end of the day, Hatterene is weak to poison. It might not be the smartest idea. I'm considering it. But if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, Bye.